welcome back to another episode of Bonafide. Finally, finally, finally. This one is especially long overdue, but I swear you guys, it's gonna be worth the wait. I'm Karen Bond, the founder and creative director at House of Bond. I've been in the design industry for over 10 years. I decided to do a entire series around my own personal home renovation. Welcome to my home. Now before I show you guys all the other spaces on my lower floor, I just wanna give you guys an update on my kitchen because I have absolutely been loving my kitchen and there's nothing in here that I would change except for maybe my dishwasher. I love the two drawers because I can do small loads and do them more frequently, but the beeping kind of drives me a little crazy sometimes. I do want to bring you over to the nook area. When I saw you guys last time, I hadn't yet installed a light up in the nook. I have a cute little light from CB2. This is just a sort of corrugated looking glass and gold fixture, so I really like it because it has a little bit of a vintage vibe. I was planning on having a little table where Oscar Center is, and to be honest, with my dining table, my coffee table, my kitchen island, I really wouldn't be using this table that much other than like a dumping ground for mail, and I don't need another spot like that. So I decided to forfeit the table completely and then what's new are these window blinds. So these were custom, I'm not sure what brand they are, but I really love them because they're super easy to use. I bought this townhouse in this area is because of the beautiful landscaping, all of the flowers, the trees, they're all in blossom and I wanna see them. So having top-down blinds was a great solution over Phoenician blinds or something like that. I really love that I have the opportunity to control the light that's coming in and also control the view outside. Okay, you guys, moving on from the kitchen, I wanna show you guys my dining room. First of all, I love that it's open. I love that I took out this wall. I love that you can see the kitchen. I love that when I'm finished having dinner, I can just take my dirty plates and put them on the counter. I love the open feeling. Everything is so functional and I couldn't be happier with the layout. One thing I should point out to you guys, Corner cabinets are tricky to use from inside the kitchen. I really wanted to use this as extra storage outside of the kitchen for my dining room. This is already looking quite cluttered, but this is the area where I keep extra candles, placemats, cookbooks, stuff like that. And whenever I have people over, they're always surprised that this is actually a cabinet. The other thing that I wanna point out is that I really, really am obsessed with these floors. These floors by Divine Flooring, they're from the Cosmopolitan Collection in the color Rome. It's a very light, whitewashed, wide plank floor that looks a little weathered. And I just feel like these light floors freshen up the house so much, especially with having a dark black kitchen. And I just love that the floors run right through the front door to my patio door and obviously in my dining room. Let's talk about my dining table. This dining table is from Rove Concepts. This is the oval tulip table from their Classics collection, and I opted for the table in 67 inches. I wanted to ensure that there was good circulation in my dining room, and there's plenty of circulation. If I wanna have a dinner party and I have two couples over or some family over, I can seat six people around this table really easily. I really love that there are curves on the tabletop. Rectangular tables work great in larger spaces and spaces where there's a lot of symmetry, but in this case, where it's a smaller space, I really love that the curve just feels a lot friendlier. I opted for the Carrera marble. I feel like bringing in another marble just gives it 
so much more character. It feels a lot more luxurious. And the highlight for me in this table though is definitely the black base. I freaked out when I discovered that Rove Concepts has a tulip table with a black base. So I just love that it's interesting, it's unusual, it's not your typical white base, and I feel like it makes the table that much more special. These dining chairs are chairs that I've had in storage for a very long time. I had initially purchased them for a project. They didn't end up getting used and I knew I wanted to pull them out for my place to see if they would work in my dining room. Sure enough, they do and I love them. If you guys are familiar with design, you'll know that these are a reproduction of the Plattner chair. I love the shape of these chairs. I love the metal detail in the back. I love how comfortable they are. Rove actually has this exact chair. They call it the Warren chair. There's a good amount of weight to them. Any kind of furniture that's got a lot of weight to it just has a sense of quality. And the special thing about these chairs is that they're actually more like lounge chairs. Whenever I have dinner parties, no one ever wants to leave the dinner table. Everyone is super happy to sit here, drink more wine, relax, because these chairs are so comfortable. To give my space a little bit of a retro vibe, I got this chandelier from West Elm. What I love about the chandelier are the frosted globes. I think it just has that old sort of vintage kind of 60s vibe and I really love it. It just adds a lot of character to my dining room. My tabletop is usually full of really interesting pieces. I love collecting cool plateware and tabletopware and one of my favorite tabletop pieces that I keep on my dining table are these palm tree candle holders. You can get them at CB2. This actually ended up being a wedding gift from my team at House of Bon, which makes them extra special. But you guys know me, I love anything that has to do with palms and gold. These candle holders, I love them. Right behind my dining room is this world map. Chris went out, sourced a map, when he brought it home, this was a small map. I think this was about 18 inches by two feet. We love this one because it's got some of the brown and gold tones that you see throughout my house and it looks a little bit like a vintage map. And I took it to the printing house, they scanned it, blew up the map, and printed it on foam core. I had a custom frame made for the map and then hung this on the wall. I really can't say enough about this map and how much I love this art piece, especially because it's interactive, which is why I wanted it printed on foam core. And it also means so much, like being able to pin all the places that Chris and I have been together just feels really special. It's something that we're gonna continue to build on as time goes on. You guys know my husband is a pilot. I travel a ton for work. We love to travel together. And even though it feels like we've been to so many places together, once you actually see all of our pins tacked up on the map, you kind of realize that there's so many more places to see still. If you guys are interested in printing anything with them, you can find them at tph.ca, which stands for the printing house. They were so fast. When I had this idea, I knew I needed to put this in motion because we were gonna film this episode soon. They were able to print this in like two days and get it over to me. So I really love their level of service and they can print anything you can dream, they can print. They can do it on foam core, wallpaper, tons of different stuff. There's this really adorable plant right in between my living room and dining room, and this plant is sitting in a basket from Rove Concepts. This is from their Cure collection, and this is the Greta Belly Basket. Feels a little bohemian, and I love using them for things like blankets, plants. It just keeps the whole vibe in the house feeling really fun and casual. One of the details that I wanted to add in this renovation with some interest in the ceiling. So I've got three wood beams that run from the dining room to the length of the living room. Because the ceiling isn't super high, it just adds a really fun sense of drama that I love. You know, a lot of people when they have a low ceiling, they're scared to put something on the ceiling because they're afraid that it's gonna make the space feel smaller. 
but if you do it right, you're actually adding a lot of character to your space, which is always great. I think ceilings are a very underutilized surface. Now, the way these beams were constructed is that there's a plywood box just shy of eight inches by eight inches. And then once the box was attached, it was clad with this flooring product from Divine Flooring. The product is from their farmhouse collection. The color is in De Fleur. If you look closely to this flooring, it has so much character to it. And I just love that it's also got a weathered and textured rustic quality. To me, that was super important in the design that this townhouse felt modern and edgy, but still a little rustic and still a little North Vancouver. So I definitely feel like I've achieved that with these ceiling beams. So you guys, this is my living room and there has been some big changes here. One of the biggest changes, or probably the biggest change in my living room is the fact that the fireplace is no longer on this wall. Because I was working really hard to try to create an open concept living space on the main floor, I didn't want to keep the fireplace on this exterior wall so that your back would be facing people if they were in the dining room or the kitchen area. I've completely flipped my living room so that the fireplace is over on this wall. It feels that much more inviting. It's warm, friendly. What ends up happening is that this room not only feels like a living room, but it kind of feels like a media room. And I love that. Chris's giant 75 inch TV actually really worked out in the space. Behind the TV, I've got black millwork panels. These panels are nice and cohesive with what's going on in the kitchen. And when the TV is not on, it just looks like a big black wall. On the side of the TV, we've got inset recess shelving, and that's great just for the TV components, some books, a little extra storage. I designed this wall to have a nice long linear fireplace. The fireplace itself is from Urban Fireplaces. It's a great fireplace. It throws so much heat. It's a polished gray stone. It's called Trunk Gray. This is also an Aeon Stone product. So already on the main floor, I've got four different marbles happening and I couldn't be happier about that actually. Now the gray fireplace really plays off of this gray sectional. This gray sectional is from Rove Concepts again. This is from their Sandro collection and this is the Milo modular sectional. This sectional worked out for me in a lot of different ways. With this configuration, it fits perfectly in my living room as you guys can see. It's nice and firm. I love the quality of this sofa and the fabric is in a dark comet gray. It really worked out to have a middle piece on the end here. And if I had an arm on the end of my sofa, I'd be blocking the fireplace. So in this case, no matter where you're sitting or lying for that matter, you can always see the fire. Behind me is this gold mirror from CB2. This is a large mirror, it's about 48 inches. What I love about this mirror is that it's not a perfect circle. It's sort of an odd shape. It's got a gold frame that's matte. It looks a little betinaed. It has a lot of character to it. And I really love mirrors because of course they always bounce a lot of light in the room and they always open up the space. To the left is a little black stag. Obviously this isn't a real stag, but it's just kind of a fun decor piece that I wanted to bring in the house. And I feel like it works really well. It just plays off of this modern cabin, rustic, bohemian thing that I've got going on in my house. It feels so North Van and I just love the aesthetic. My coffee table is again from Rove Concepts and it's called the Truman Coffee Table from their Sandro collection again. The coffee table is a walnut veneer. It's a very modern coffee table, so I love the lines. They're just nice and clean. And what I especially love about this coffee table is that there's lots of storage. 
for things like remotes, the TV remote, the fireplace remote. And especially when my mom or someone like that comes over last minute, we can just throw everything in here and hide it really easily. Behind me is some really special art. These are old astrology maps that I had bought on one of my trips to Rome with Chris a number of years ago. You can tell that I really love maps and what I love about these maps is that even though they're reproduction maps, they have a really old historical quality to them. I got these custom frames done, they're shadow boxes, so there's some depth to the boxes. That allows the edges to still curl and the, the creases to show on the maps and you can really see the old vintage quality of them. Now last but not least, this rug completely grounds my living room space. This tone on tone effect where you've got the gray fireplace, the grays in the rug, the gray in the sofa, and that tonal effect really serves to create a serene feeling in a space. I love that it's got a vintage quality to it. This rug comes from Pacific Rug Gallery, and this particular rug comes from their Transitional Modern Collection. It's a wool and silk blend. It was handmade in India. It's super soft. It's an eight by 10 rug. And I really feel like this rug gives this room so much interest and character. I have to show you guys one last room on my main floor. Now, before we go in, these doors are from a tree. They're a solid core door from the Fashion Forward collection. The casings and baseboards are also from a tree. They're from the French Curves collection. Excuse me, Oscar, while I step over you. <laughs> These doors and casings have all been painted in pure white. The paint is from Sherwin-Williams and Fresh Paint has painted all my doors, casings, walls, ceilings. My hardware is from Mtech, one of my favorite hardware suppliers. I've got a levered door handle. This is a knurled handle in satin brass and the rose is in a matte black from their Urban Modern Collection. I love the combination of gold and black because obviously this goes with my entire house. Now. My powder room is pretty special because it's so different. It feels like you're in a completely different world. And because it's a small space, I really wanted to have fun with this room. I've wallpapered all the walls, floor to ceiling, in this La Palma wallpaper from Mocum. This bold, dramatic, green palm wallpaper plays really well off of my floor. And the mosaic tile is from Creekside. It's a black and white marble in a really tailored geometric pattern. And I just love the combination of the two together. Further to that, my vanity in the powder room is finished in walnut. The countertop on my vanity is the same countertop that I have in my kitchen. It's nice to have that consistency. Even though this space looks so different, by repeating the same finishes, it makes the whole house feel really cohesive. This faucet is from Acrobras, and this is in the brush gold finish. The sink is this little petite pop sink. This is by DXV, and this came through splashes. The great thing about this sink is that it's really teeny tiny, but it fits the vanity perfectly and I needed a really small sink because of where the plumbing is located and because this isn't a very big room. This mirror is high impact because of the wide gold frame and this mirror and the light fixture were both picked up at the lighting warehouse over in Richmond and I got a great deal on both of them. My toilet also comes from Splashes. This is a Toto toilet, and it's called the Carlisle toilet. This room is great because it's such high impact. It's so unexpected, and it's just kind of fun. When people come over and they have no idea that that's what my powder room looks like, they go to use the bathroom. There's a ton of wow factor. I love that. 
So that's it for this episode of Bonafide. You guys have seen a lot. You've seen my living room, my dining room, and my powder room now, which makes up my entire main floor. Obviously, next, I've gotta go upstairs and show you guys that too. I'd love to hear from you guys. I really wanna know what your favorite thing is that you saw in today's video. I love reading your comments, so I'm really looking forward to that. If you liked the episode, make sure you give it a like, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.